Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, July the 30th, 2018, and this is episode 2822. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to Morning Manna and a brand new week. Today's episode is titled, Vanity. Stay tuned. So what are you searching for? What do you think will bring you satisfaction? In my Bible reading, now I'm reading through the book of Ecclesiastes. It's an amazing book about an amazing man. His name was Solomon, uh, mentioned to be the wisest man that ever lived. He was a man that when he took over the kingdom after his father David died, God says, what do you want? And uh, he could have asked for riches. He could have asked for stuff. Instead, he asked for wisdom. And God said, because you asked for wisdom and not riches and stuff, I'm going to give you the wisdom you asked for, but I'm also going to bless you as well with material things. And so Solomon was an amazing man. And the book of Ecclesiastes, in fact, I posted something on social media recently and somebody replied that that was their most favorite book in the Bible. And I would encourage you to read it. It's an interesting, interesting book. I'm going to read just a few verses from chapter two. And, and I want to talk a little bit about vanity. He said in verse nine, so I became great and surpassed all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me, and whatever my eyes desired, I did not keep from them. I kept my heart from no pleasure, for my heart found pleasure in all my toil, and this was my reward for all my toil. Then I considered all that my hands had done, and the toil I had expended in doing it, And behold, all was vanity and a striving after the wind. And there was nothing to be gained after the sun. All is vanity and grasping for the wind. After this futile search for the meaning of life, Solomon concluded, vanity of vanity, all is vanity. What profit has a man from all his labor, which he toils under the sun? Now, the word vanity that Solomon used didn't mean the same thing that maybe some are thinking about today. When we think of vanity, we think of people who've never met a mirror they they didn't like. But the vanity that Solomon talks about could easily be translated emptiness, meaningless, nothingness, futility. Solomon was saying there's nothing on this earth that will satisfy us completely. No thing, no pleasure, no relationship. It's kind of like riding a stationary bike. You know, you see on the little video screen that you're going uphill. So it gets a little more difficult to pedal. Then you go downhill and it becomes a little easier. But what's the reality? (laughs) You haven't moved an inch. You've spun your wheels without going anywhere. And that's kind of like, the idea that Solomon is conveying. Have you ever wondered why the rich or super famous often have substance abuse issues or problems? I think it's because they get to do what others only dream of. They accomplish a certain thing and then they move on to the next thing. They experience another success and they move on to something else. They can't keep that high they were on so they turn to the next thing. You might say that Solomon tried it all and he realized that it was all meaningless. He was saying, I know what I'm talking about here. If you take God out of the picture, your life will be empty, meaningless, and futile. So what are you searching for today? What is your pursuit? 
make sure you don't become like a dog chasing your tail, chasing after just success or money or material possessions. Make sure you're seeking those things that will bring you real purpose and real joy. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for a brand new week and all the opportunities that we'll have to serve others, to be a blessing, to be an encouragement. I think one of the things that can help safeguard us from this kind of vanity more than anything else is to keep our focus on others rather than just ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanup.com. My email address is bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.